when I'm not protecting a certain VIP who lives on the east coast of the United States, I like to watch Diesel and his chauffeur Trucker Josh. Best channel on YouTube. Good morning friends and new people if you're new don't forget to subscribe make new videos all the time we're here in uh, Dow's Junction Iowa at the truck stop we slept here overnight we woke up in the exact same spot we went to sleep I love it when that happens got a new neighbor beside us though nice Peterbilt diesel hey guys still dark okay I know I know we are up before the sun, it is an ungodly hour, but uh, it doesn't take it, it doesn't take a lot to get up before the sun at this time of year. Days are really short right now. <sighs> so enjoy the sun, Australia, all you fine Australians. Please send it back, we miss it. Okay, so we're all ready to rock and roll. All we gotta do is put her in gear. That always helps. Crazy automatics. There we go. There we go, we're rolling. We're rolling. Do a little bit of a tug test just to make sure my trailer's definitely not going anywhere. I always like to triple, double, quadruple check. I think it'd be very embarrassing to lose your trailer on the freeway. I've seen it happen on the YouTubes. But I don't want that to happen to me. Look at this mess, like the sun, I guess the sky is starting to light up now, that's good. It's 7 a.m., we're rolling out of here. Got two hours of driving to get to our uh, destination. We're hopefully gonna be able to unload this lumber super quick. Be out of there by maybe 9.30. And then we got two hours to drive down to St. Joseph, Missouri to get a live load of steel. A live load means that they're gonna load the trailer I'm attached to. They're gonna load me today. Uh, as opposed to uh, having a preloaded trailer there waiting for me, where I just switch trailers. So this takes a little longer. I gotta load me when I'm there. It takes, I, I've never done a live load of steel. So I'm not too sure what to even expect. I'm guessing it's gonna take a while though because they gotta stack the steel up. Meters. Take the entrance to the ride on I-35 South. That's what I'm doing here, Karen. I'm trying to tell a story though. Like they've always gotta stack the steel up and balance it, and there's all that dunnage in there. They gotta make it all level. I have a feeling it's gonna take most of the day. There's only one way to find out. We gotta go pick it up. We made it. And they're taking their sweet time but that's okay because i'm not gonna make it to my shipping appointment today i'm probably gonna have to do it tomorrow because i have an air leak in one of my tires let's go take a look i don't know what's going on with it it's not flat but it's low so i'm gonna limp it down the road to the pilot where i can fuel it up or uh, fill it up with air and then uh Go a little further down the road to Love's where they have a tire shop and they can take a look at it. It's one of my retreads. One of my retreads, guys. It's low. You can see the difference on that to that. You don't want to go down the highway very far like this. It's not completely out of air. But uh, I'm going to have to go fill it up and hopefully we can get about uh, 30 miles down the road to the next Love's where they have a tire shop. And uh, they'll have to take a look at it. Probably just replace it. I'm gonna keep it though, because uh, it's a slow leak, so I'm guessing maybe we can get it patched. I don't know. I don't even know what the problem is. Maybe it's because it was super cold back at home. The cold weather somehow let some air out somewhere. It's not supposed to do that, but. 
We're dealing with this this afternoon, or it's still early in the morning. It's 9.30 in the morning right now. And they're not unloading me as quickly as I wanted to anyway. So I'm gonna have to call them and say we're gonna load up tomorrow. It'll just be a little bit more rushed. Which is sad because I gotta do my Christmas shopping this weekend sometime on the road yet. Trucking, it's always an adventure. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just, it's just down the road here, there's a pilot, like literally right around the corner. So I can limp it there, no problem. And then I'm not on these guys' yard here and I'm at a truck stop and they have air compressors there. I'll fill it up, get the air pressure right. And then we'll drive 30 miles down to Love's, keeping an eye on it. And then we'll check our air pressure there again. And if it's still the same, maybe it was just the extreme cold weather that somehow you know, something wasn't quite sealed right on the rim or something wasn't quite right. And maybe it's the cold weather that just, this, that's what I'm hoping for, right? And realistically, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to replace the tire at Love's, but I just, I at least need to get to the tire shop because that's a lot cheaper than paying for the service call for them to come to me. So ideally I would like to get to them, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Terrible, simply terrible. Good thing it's Thursday. I can load that load tomorrow, though it uh, throws a wrench in everybody's plans, and I can still get there. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit rushed. I haven't done my Christmas shopping. Or I haven't finished my Christmas shopping for Brit yet, and uh, I was going to do that on this trip. I didn't want to waste time when I was at home and go do it. When I was at home, I want to spend the time with her. I was going to go shopping now. Thought I'd have more time. I didn't really want to be rushed. I wanted to find a nice big mall somewhere and just, you know, take my time wandering around there for a few hours, find something nice for her. But, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I don't know if this has anything to do with the fact that they're retreads. We will find that out for you. Remember, I was going to keep you updated on that. But, uh, the thing that bothers me the most is now. I'm gonna have a different tire tread on that tire because they're not gonna have the same tire tread over here at, at Love's. So I'm gonna have one tire that doesn't match all the rest. One will not be like all the others and that's gonna drive me mad. Okay, small change of plans. I was talking to the forklift operator here who was unloading me, uh, asked them if they had an air compressor here and uh, they don't actually, but he did recommend me to a great tire shop here in town and I gave him a call and they're gonna help me out and hopefully fix my tire. Maybe they can just patch it right away if there's a small little pinprick of a leak. Uh, at least they can take a look at it, right? So uh, it's just across town here, it's called KD Tires. It's apparently behind McDonald's, which is good. Well, actually it's probably not good. I shouldn't eat McDonald's, it's bad for you. But it tastes so good. Mm, McDonald's fries, Big Macs. Let's focus on getting this tire fixed. So they're gonna take a look at it and uh, we'll see what they say. If I gotta replace it, maybe I can replace it right here in town and then I don't have to worry about uh, limping it all the way to Pilot. It's two kilometers closer, so about a mile and a half closer. Uh, I don't have to limp it as far and uh, then I won't have to stop again at Love's and maybe we can get it fixed in time that I can get to my shipping. Wait, no, if I, I went to my shipping right now, I'd get there at noon. No, we're not gonna make it today. I have to get unloaded or get reloaded first thing tomorrow morning. Now, either way, we're not going to make it. So, uh, trucking. I said that already. This is trucking. Nothing is really ever set in stone. It's always fly by the seat of your pants. Let's see what happens. Let's just try our best. Let's see what happens. So, here we are limping across town. I'm glad the tire's not completely flat. Otherwise, it would make this, even this, difficult. Where do I got to turn, Karen? You know, let me know, right? So this is Osceola, Osceola, Iowa. Is that how you pronounce it? Osceola. In 500 meters, turn right on West McLean Street, US 34. Okie dokie, then. Nice little town. Very nice. So we're just south of Des Moines. If you guys are from here, there, there it says it. O S C E O L A. Osceola. 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 Do any of you live here? How do you pronounce that? Wonderful, wonderful people here. So friendly. Dog lovers. They had a dog in the in the office there to greet you when you come in. That, that's a business I like. 
I always tell the shippers whenever they have a dog in there, that's my favorite shippers. My favorite kind of shipper is the one who has a dog greet me. So, uh, you want to smell her, Diesel? I'll pet her. I'll pet her. Well, don't look at me like that. I still love you. You want to smell her? Nice, nice female dog they had in there. Apparently she had just been fixed. So she was uh, <laughs> a little drugged up because the surgery must have been like very recently. And uh, yeah, so well behaved. Dog lovers in there. Of course, we got into talking about our kids, our fur kids. Great, so K and D or K D tires in Osceola. Am I pronouncing that right? Osceola, Iowa. If you're in the area, keep them in mind if you need any tire work. Um, they they really help me out. They're really friendly too. Good guys. Let's see if I can get out of here. It's a little bit of a tight lot. So I've got to back out onto the street. Can I turn around back there? I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to turn around in here. But it was just a valve stem. That's all it was, $50 to fix it. Oh, thank God I don't have to get a whole new tire. Just bought these things. All right, let's see, so I'm gonna pull in here first. Huh, I think I'm gonna pull onto the road, or back onto the road behind me, because I've gotta go to our left that way, but I've got to back out that way because I can't blindside it onto the road, or I'm, I'm not going to. So first, we'll put our uh, hazards on, our do anything and get away with the flashers. All right, all right. Let's drag our butts back onto the road. I have contacted the shipper once more. Let them know my new ETA. Let them know I'm on the way. And they said, okay. Bring her on down, Trucker Josh. We're waiting for you. Okay, so they're loading a different trailer. I already told you this, right? Stop. And oh, I'm giving her. Give her. It's gonna be a good day. It's, it's a good day already. I'm so glad that uh, the tire repair was only 50 bucks. Man, I thought I was gonna have to buy a whole new tire. Oh man, I just bought these things. So it wasn't actually the retread's fault. Can't hate on them yet. And so far they're lasting really well. By the looks of it, I'll get like four or 500,000 kilometers out of them which is like 300,000 miles, if they keep wearing at the rate that they are now. It's my guesstimate. My steer tires, on the other hand, those need to be replaced pretty much every year. What's going on over here? You got the farmer brigade coming down? No, 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 I'm getting in front of you, bud. No. No. No, I am going in front of you. I'm a highway tractor. Sure on this road for 151 kilometers. Highway tractors belong on the highway. What do you guys think? This guy's gonna lose his mattress. <laughs> Let's get out of here before it flies off of there. Let me pass you, bud. He's got two straps holding that thing down. <laughs> he's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Ah, he's all over the road. <laughs> he's gonna... I sort of want to stay back here and see if it flies off. <laughs> they know it too. <laughs> Take the entrance to the ride on M0759 Street Yards. I don't want to be behind her if that flies off of there. That's hilarious. But I, I feel as frustrated I feel them though, you know? It's hard transporting a mattress. <laughs> it is. So we're in St. Joseph here right now, uh, getting close to our customer. When I called them, apparently there's another driver who's gonna be there, who's picking up a load at like three o'clock and they said the other load will be ready in the morning. Kilometer, take the entrance to the ride on M0759 4th Street Stockyards and then slight ride in 300 meters. Every time, Karen. But uh, I don't know if I'm the guy who's getting loaded today or if I'm getting loaded in the morning. 
So I'm just gonna show up there, and if I'm the guy who's getting loaded in the morning, I guess I'll just go find somewhere to park for the night. I, I was under the impression it was me, but now I'm confused. There's two of us. One of us is getting loaded in the morning. 400 meters. Take the entrance to the ride on MO759 4th Street Stockyards and then what? slide right in 300 meters. What? Here? No, not here. Gotta be more specific, Karen. Be more Pacific. There's a lot of a lot of things going on here. This is a spider web. Spider web of road. This one. Okay, this one. 759, 759. Okay, this one. So uh, I guess we'll see. I guess 200 we'll see. meters. Slide right on South Fourth Street. Mo 759. So you see, this is what I mean by the U.S. actually having roads that make sense. Like all of these overpasses, they're amazing. Winnipeg hasn't quite caught on to that uh, revolutionary thought yet. Or you could just build a road over the railway tracks and over the other, so no one has to stop? Never thought of that. This is a yield sign, so I am yielding and I am going. Last time I went through a yield sign, I had a bunch of comments. You didn't stop at the stop sign, Trucker Josh. It was a yield. I even said it was a yield. You guys still filled up my comment section with stop sign in no. four kilometers turn right on bluff view drive i don't know where you come from but where i come from the triangle signs that say yield in the middle are yield signs not stop signs the ones that are weird shape was an octagon with the a word stop in the middle those are the stop signs we put words on them so that we can't really mess them up we're here somewhere in the great wildness of Iowa. Exit 112 on the I-29. I've got four minutes left on my clock. This truck stop that they got here, this Phillips 66, they better have parking for me or I'm making a spot. You know what I'm saying? I got four minutes to park this rig. I'm sure there'll be lots of spots. This isn't a very popular truck stop. That's why I picked it when I was planning my trip today. I kind of figured that it's not going to have a whole ton of people getting in my way. Taking up all the parking. Sometimes I kind of like to stay at the, the little Ma and Pa truck stop or the little quieter one. 100 meters, turn left on Filbert Avenue and then Oh, there's a Cenex on this side. What are you doing, buddy? How do I get in there? I think I missed my turn. I definitely missed my turn, didn't I? Continue on this road for 40 meters. You have arrived at your destination on the left side, Petrol Mart. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's another driveway over here. We'll just take this driveway. Oh, thank goodness they thought of people like me and put two driveways in. All right, I wasn't even going that slow when the guy blew past me. Whatever. Whatever, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We have three minutes left to park this rig. Good thing I didn't miss that turn. That would have been bad. It's only like a quiet spot here I can park somewhere. Oh, they got a McDonald's. That's terrible. Oh, just tempting you with those beautiful golden arches. Oh, oh sweet. I can park right against the back here, I guess. Also, okay, well, we'll do that then. How about that? How about that? Actually, you know what? Yeah. Well, we'll park over here for now. I think I could actually... Hmm. Oh, I gotta pick a spot to park. You know what? We're gonna go in here. At least then we're in a proper spot. Hopefully this guy doesn't have his reefer on. If he does, that's okay. Nope. He's not loaded. Not with anything that needs to be kept at a temperature. Right on. You have zero hours and one minutes of remaining drive time. You don't say. That's cutting her as close as you can cut her. Yikes. Put ourselves in the sleeper here. 
There we go. Can't cut it any closer than that. That was the end of my 14 hour day. Oh boy. So, uh, next stop. Let's... Karen, how far do we got to go to our next stop? Proceed to the highlighted route. I don't want to cross at that border crossing. Give me another one. I wanted to cross at Coots, Alberta, but the load god said, no, don't cross at Coots. There's some kind of Proceed issue going to the on. The highlighted route. We've got to cross at North Portal. That's the one. North Portal. So there's 2,265 kilometers to Red Deer, Alberta, where we're bringing the steel that's behind us now. That's right. I haven't even told you or shown you the load yet. I'll show you tomorrow morning. You'll have to tune in. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, 2,266 divided by 1.61, we got 1,407 miles to go. And we have three days to do it in. We got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we got plenty of time. Plenty of time to find a nice mall somewhere and uh, go do some Christmas shopping. Because I need to get that done. Christmas is coming. <laughs> 